Coach's Corner is presented by Life Skills, the presenting sponsor of the 2016 WKU football season, by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics, by Pizza Hut, proud to support WKU Athletics, by UPS, delivered by UPS. More information at ups.com backslash solvers. By Kentucky Legend Hams, one legend folks can rely on. By Taco Bell, now serving breakfast starting at 7. And by Passport Health Plan, proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Welcome to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Coach, what an awesome victory against uh, FAU, 52-3. Well, it was a good victory for our football team. I thought that uh, we had a great week of practice. I thought our guys were locked in. We kind of understand at this point of the season that we've got to win, and uh, our guys want to win. Uh, trying to, to compete for a championship is, is one of our goals, and in order to do that, you've got to take care of business each and every week. So good win. Uh, we came ready to play. It was a road game, and we definitely took care of business. And it was a really good game. Go, Coach, talk a little bit about the balance that you have, offense and defense. Well, I, I thought for sure it was our best defensive game all year. We really did a great job of, of shutting them down, uh, getting off the field on third downs, making plays in space, uh, and got us the ball back numerous times. And uh, just an outstanding job by our defense. Our offense was actually able to make a lot of big plays in the passing game. We ran the ball effectively. Uh, just a very good uh, overall team win. Especially in conference, how important is it now, especially to have six wins and to be bowl eligible? Well, I think for us, it's about uh, winning every week. And, uh, you know, each week is going to be a new challenge. And uh, there's a lot of teams that want to try to, to compete for the, the championship. And it's a close race. There's a lot of parity in the league. Uh, we've got some good teams left on our schedule that we've got to be ready to play. But I think our guys uh, understand the importance of every week. We, we, we approach it as a one-game season, and uh, it was good to, to get a good, solid win. Okay, Coach, thanks so much. We'll be back to you after these messages. Bluegrass Cellular's faster data speeds and more complete coverage keep you connected to your community, no matter where life takes you. Whether you're exploring your own backyard or forging new paths across the country. Talk better, text better, play better, and share better. Here, there, and everywhere. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. Sophie. His 13th birthday. Gift? We've got you. Guitar? Coming tomorrow. Road game today? Surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No. Birthday tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guitar? Reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party? Relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. I had no use for health insurance, but my mom was always saying, sign up for Passport. And I was like, mom. She was like, for my peace of mind. It got to be where I needed peace of mind. So I did. Now my mom, she can chill. And I feel pretty good about it too. Together we can all feel better. Call 1-800-578-0603 and ask for Passport. That's 1-800-578-0603. Passport Health Plan, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Western Kentucky students, parents, alumni, and fans, we have the exclusive WKU debit card available for you. Open a regular checking account with South Central Bank and ask for one today. We are South Central Bank, small enough to know you, WKU fans, and big enough to help. We now offer e-statements, mobile banking, and remember the official debit card of WKU Athletics. Get yours today at any South Central Bank location. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Hey Big Red, thanks for coming to my IGA tailgate. I always wanted to know what it was like to tailgate on the hill and this is the only time I could do it. Our fans sure are lucky that they get to tailgate and compete in the IGA tailgater of the game promotion. I wish I could win because you know how much I like to win, but someone has to coach. So Hilltopper fans, I challenge you to become the IGA tailgater of the game. And be sure to get all your tailgating essentials at your local IGA, the official grocer of WKU Athletics. Go Tops.
Life Skills has been serving the South Central Kentucky area for over 50 years. We know that when it comes to your health, experience matters. With a location in your community, we are there for you and your family in times of need. We provide you with greater choice and easy access to mental health care, addiction treatment services, and assistance for those with intellectual disabilities. Life Skills, premium health care services. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Coach, an outstanding game with the defense. Well, our defense uh, played a solid football game. I thought our defensive line uh, played physical up front. Our linebackers were in the right position. We got lined up. Uh, we didn't give up the big play. And really, we got off the field on third down, and that was critical. I think our percentage on third down, they didn't convert a, a third down to the end of the fourth quarter. So. Um, just a great effort. I thought we were locked in. We were tuned in. Uh, our secondary stepped up. I thought we made plays on the perimeter much better than we have in the past. Uh, but just a really a solid effort that we need to build on. And we need to make sure we continue to improve. And we've done a good job in practice of working on small things, some things that have hurt us in, in, in previous games. And I think because of that, we're, can, we're getting better. Our guys are gaining confidence, and it's good to see. And Keith Brown had another outstanding game with six tackles. Well, Keith is really uh, playing well for us, and he's in the flow, and he understands, you know, he's, he's the quarterback of the defense. He's the guy in the middle. There's a lot of things we do in front of him to create openings for him to make plays, and he's got to be there to do that. But I think uh, his instincts are coming into play better. Uh, he understands the scheme. He's playing faster. He's able to read the quarterback better than he did early in the year. He's breaking on the ball faster. He's using his arms to wrap up and tackle. All those things that we need a good, solid Mike linebacker to do. And the defensive line had a lot of pressure, especially like Chris Johnson had one sack. Well, Chris Johnson plays with a high motor. Uh, he's got some quickness coming off the ball. You throw in Omar Bryan, who's got some size and strength, and he comes off the ball extremely hard. He creates penetration. He gets in the backfield. Uh, and then we're able to rotate guys in there and, and spell them at times and keep them fresh. Uh, Evan Sainer, Julian Lewis. Uh, but uh, those guys have to try to dominate, they have to have great get off, they have to be into the game, they have to uh, disrupt the offensive line and try to disrupt the, the, the uh, offensive plays by getting penetration, but it all starts up front. We need those guys to play well each and every week. You talked about the secondary, you had a young guy step up, Jason Johnson had an interception. Well, Jason Johnson is a uh, redshirt freshman who we think is gonna be a very good football player. He's got instincts, it's just a matter of getting him in there a little bit more. Uh, but to see him break on the ball and make a play like that uh, was huge for our defense. We, we actually, uh, Juwan Gardner got the start for us at strong safety and, and really played very well. Uh, played with great instincts. He has a pretty good feel and knack of, of the football and getting off blocks and, and finding a way to make the tackle. And he takes a few chances at times, but uh, it was good to see him play well. We need the, those positions to perform at a high level, and I thought Juwan Gardner and Jason Johnson definitely did that. It was really impressive, especially offensively, all three quarterbacks had a touchdown. Well, that was good to see. I think Mike White, uh, once again, he was solid. Uh, he took care of the ball. He made big plays in the passing game. He made a few plays with his feet, extended the play. All those things we work on that he understands he has to do in order uh, to be an outstanding quarterback, and he works hard at it. So I'm proud of his effort. Uh, you throw in Tyler Ferguson. He came in, did a solid job, found a way to scramble and make a play for us for a touchdown to Steve Donatell. And then, uh, Drew Eccles came in and was uh, very accurate with the football, threw a short pass to Stephon Brown, took us down to about the six-yard line, uh, called a rollout at the end of the game there. He rolled out, bought a, a little extra time, found a way to throw it up high to Quinn Jernigan. Uh, but really, it was great to see all three quarterbacks play. I think they all work hard. They all have ability, and uh, it's good to get them in there. And it's amazing in the running game, you know, with Wales out the first half, Triggs did a great job. Well, Mark West Trigg is a solid running back who uh, understands our system. He runs hard. Uh, our offensive line did a great job once again at knocking people back, but uh, he hit the hole, he did the small things. Uh, I think he had close to 100 yards rushing for us and uh, protected the football and, and really was just a solid player for us where we need him. Quentin Baker did a few things for us as well and he continues to improve. And then we got Ace Wells back in the second half. I think he was fresh, he made some good runs for us. He has a great knack of making uh, guys miss and, and sometimes in the running game you can get everybody blocked except for one. That's normally a safety dropping down or somebody uh, once you get past the line of scrimmage and he does a great job of just making a quick move, making a miss and going for touchdowns. You know what's amazing there, you talked about the offensive line. FAU does a great job of running the ball but this game we, we had a better rushing average. Well we, uh, we were committed to running the ball. I think they were uh, 
pressing our receivers every play. They had two safeties back there, and I think that uh, we needed to run the ball. And I think that uh, it's good to, to have more balance, to be able to do both. I think when teams start to cheat down, we'll definitely be able to throw the ball. I have full confidence in that, but I think uh, being able to run the ball is, 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 is going to take you a long way. And I think uh, the last few weeks, in fact, basically the last three weeks, we've got that going, and it's been very beneficial to our team. A really good point, Coach. You talked about you know the run game, but earlier in the game at FIU, they were stacking six or seven in the box, and you just, whatever they gave you, took advantage of it. Well, I think you have to be able to do that. I think that uh, we've got uh, good receivers, and it's good to see uh, Lucky Jackson step up and make plays, see Quinn Jernigan catch a touchdown pass, and see some other receivers uh, get involved since Nicarius did not play for us. But uh, we always can depend on Taewon and Nick Norris. Those guys make plays for us. Uh, but, uh, you know, the running game is going to be critical for us. And I think that uh, with the experience of our offensive line, with the experience that we have in the backfield as far as getting our younger running backs some experience and Ace Wells being very solid, we've got to be able to do both. And I think in order to win uh, on a consistent basis, you have to have that uh, <clears throat> from an offense. And I like the progress we're making. Coach, what do you think about and talk about that a little bit about how getting those young guys more experience? Well, it's critical. And uh, you've got to be have some depth on both sides of the ball. And, and uh, Ace Wells, he's got to experience. And then uh, Quentin Baker's going to continue to improve. Marquez Twirig is able to get in there and do some things. I think at the receiver position, we've got to have more than two guys. And those guys have been stepping up. And like I said, in Nicarius' absence, uh, we had some younger guys uh, make some plays for us and, and, and get in the end zone, which was important. I think that's going to help their confidence. It's going to help us in the long run. And it was great to see those guys. And I was happy for them. OK, Coach, thanks so much. Now to the play of the game. Coach, let's talk about our first uh, score of the game. Well, we had a uh, third long situation. We started off the game. We got stuffed on the first run. We took a shot on the second on a deep ball to Taewon Till that we overthrew. They had pretty good coverage. And then we came out in third and long, and they uh, got us in man. They had man coverage on us, pressed us across the board. We had a play that we called double dig, where basically we're going to run two in cuts at different levels. Nick Norris is going to be out here. He's going to kind of influence the flat defender and try to break open in uh, man coverage. Uh, Mike dropped back, got a little pr push from the defensive end in Daryl's face. He had to escape outside. And when he did, on this little uh, pivot route by Nick, man coverage, Nick started to turn up the field. Mike threw it to him. There's no one out there, and it was an easy touchdown for us. But that's amazing that the play, you know, you ad lib, but are they taught doing practice like when the play is busted, they go somewhere else? Or? Well, I'll tell you what, we, we work the scramble drill probably more here than anywhere I've been. We definitely work it where our, our, our Receivers are used to it. Our quarterback is good at it and gets better at it. Our, our defenders are used to covering it. But uh, Mike, who that's not his strength, he's done a great job the last few weeks at working uh, pocket movement, getting outside the pocket. So when he did, he was in a position to throw. Our receivers knew what to do. If you're short, you run deep. If you're deep, you come back to the quarterback. But everything worked out exactly the way you, you wanted. And it was a big touchdown for us. Okay, Coach, thank you so much. We'll be back to you after these messages. This WKU Football Legends feature is being brought to you by Kentucky Legend Hams, one legend folks can rely on. From 1970 through 73, the Hilltoppers were 35 and 7, and the shake and bake running back tandem was a major reason why. John Embry was bake, and Clarence Jackson was shake. Jackson arrived on the hill from Knoxville, Tennessee. He led WKU in rushing his sophomore, junior, and senior seasons while accumulating 42 touchdowns. His 19 touchdowns in the 1973 National Championship game runner-up appearance season is still a Hilltopper record. The two-time All-Ohio Valley Conference selection played with the New York Jets and Hall of Famer Joe Namath for three seasons. Clarence the Shake Jackson was also a WKU track star and was inducted into the Hilltopper Hall of Fame in 1997. This WKU Football Legends feature is brought to you by Kentucky Legend Hams, one legend folks can rely on. Bluegrass Cellular's faster data speeds and more complete coverage keep you connected to your community, no matter where life takes you. Whether you're exploring your own backyard or forging new paths across the country. Talk better, text better, play better, and share better. Here, there, and everywhere. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. Hi, I'm Betty Thompson. Did you know that people who are lactose intolerant can eat cheese and not experience any of the usual consequences of eating dairy? It's a good thing, too, since cheese is one of America's favorite foods, by itself or on something else. 
like pizza, mac and cheese, and tacos. It's versatile and filled with the goodness of dairy. For recipes and more information on healthy dairy products, visit our website. Hey guys. Hey. Oh, is this the new boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> we haven't met yet. <laughs> You're the sweetest. Yes. Do you want to hold him? Hold my baby now. So easy to dip, so hard to put down. Rolled chicken tacos. Tasty shredded chicken all rolled up with your choice of dips. Back at Taco Bell. If you hold a Kentucky hunting or fishing license, then you have helped make possible Kentucky's wildlife management areas. Places to hunt, fish, bird watch, or just let your mind wander. With nearly 100 dotting the Commonwealth, put wildlife management areas in your sights for fall hunting and see more of what makes Kentucky's outdoors outstanding. Get all the information online at fw.ky.gov. There's not much Big Red can't do. Here he is auditioning for the fuel gold job. Wow, what a leg. And it's still going out of the stadium. It looks like Big Red is going to retrieve the ball, but it's rolled across the tracks. And a train is coming. Even Big Red knows to be extra careful when crossing railroad tracks. Always remember to play it safe around railroad tracks. I had no use for health insurance, but my mom was always saying, sign up for passport. And I was like, mom. She was like, for my peace of mind. It got to be where I needed peace of mind. So I did. Now my mom, she can chill and I feel pretty good about it too. Together we can all feel better. Call 1-800-578-0603 and ask for Passport. That's 1-800-578-0603. Passport Health Plan, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Again, Coach, the defense was definitely sound up front and even in the section, secondary. Well, it was their best performance of the year, and uh, a lot of guys stepped up. A lot of guys got to play, which was important, and then some new guys uh, really played solid for us. I think, like I said, I think Jawan Gardner really stood out. He was solid for us on defense. Uh, I think the ability to rotate guys up front helped us uh, with our defensive line, but guys were fresh. They were playing fast. They were into it. We were, cr we were creating stops. We were getting off the field on third down, and those are all the things you have to do. Coach, what, what is, why is it so important to put pressure on the quarterback? Well, as a former quarterback, uh, you know, we don't like to get hit. And uh, anytime people are going to get in our face and, and get after us, we're going to be uncomfortable. So, you know, it's up to us to make the quarterback feel uncomfortable. We don't want him to be so relaxed back there that he can pick you apart and throw the ball like it's a uh, skelly in practice. We want to get after the quarterback, give him, give him some different looks, get in the backfield, uh, you know, change things up, uh, try to have a little bit of deception in what we do, but at the same time be sound and fundamental. But uh, Putting pressure on the quarterback is the number one thing you need to do on defense. And Coach, this game, for some reason, FAU, uh, Coach uh, Holt did a great job of putting a lot of pressure, uh, bringing pressures, blitzes on FAU's well, offense. Well, yes, 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 we did. And we've got a lot of stuff in our package, and each and every week I think it's important to change it up a little bit, but also have enough in that you can create some disruption and confusion. But, uh, you know, our guys are playing well right now. I think we've gained some confidence, and uh, we're feeling good. And, uh, about the progress we made and, and we've worked hard at uh, like I said trying to improve and I think if we continue to work hard in practice realize it's a one game season do whatever we can to raise our level play the next week and each and every week do that we can gonna, we're going to continue to improve. Uh, talk a little bit about Calvin Robinson he's been doing a great job when he comes in and, and spelling out on defense and doing a good job. Well Calvin uh, is a solid player for us he uh, understands the game of football he's very bright he's very intelligent uh, he creates push at the line of scrimmage uh, all of our players like him. He works extremely hard uh, and, uh, you know, he's got great length to him, uh, can rush the passer, uh, really just is a solid football player, an even better person, a great student, all the qualities you're looking for in a student athlete. Okay, coach, now to the feature with Calvin Robinson. My name is Calvin Robinson. I'm a defensive end and I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. 
It all started my second grade year. I just went out for it and I hated it. And then I went back my seventh grade year and all my friends were doing this. So we were like, all right, let's all do it together. So ever since basically seventh grade, I've been doing this consecutively. Um, a lot of things, um, just an open opportunity uh, for the most part. I mean, to be to coach on be coach on the Bobby Petrino as a freshman, you know, a big time name. You want to do something, and you want Western to be a great school. My favorite moment was my first collegiate sack, uh, my freshman year. Uh, it was against Troy, and actually, without that sack, we would have probably lost a lot more than what we did. Great. Um, he's a family man and he's also a team, a team player. Like, I, I, I really enjoy playing him for him. We're relentless. Um, one thing that we push for is always just to push our hardest, go for our hardest, and hope for the best outcome. Uh, wake up in the morning, pop in some kid Cuddy, and then I'm on the road. Uh, if the league doesn't work out for me, um, I'm looking at probably teaching English in Europe for a year before I go to grad school. Coach's Corner is being presented by Passport Health Plan. Proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Bluegrass Cellular's faster data speeds and more complete coverage keep you connected to your community, no matter where life takes you. Whether you're exploring your own backyard or forging new paths across the country. Talk better, text better, play better, and share better. Here, there, and everywhere. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. I had no use for health insurance, but my mom was always saying, sign up for Passport. And I was like, mom. She was like, for my peace of mind. It got to be where I needed peace of mind. So I did. Now my mom, she can chill. And I feel pretty good about it too. Together we can all feel better. Call 1-800-578-0603 and ask for Passport. That's 1-800-578-0603. Passport Health Plan, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Sophie. His 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no, oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Hey Big Red, thanks for coming to my IGA tailgate. I always wanted to know what it was like to tailgate on the hill and this is the only time I could do it. Our fans sure are lucky that they get to tailgate and compete in the IGA tailgater of the game promotion. I wish I could win because you know how much I like to win, but someone has to coach. So Hilltopper fans, I challenge you to become the IGA tailgater of the game. And be sure to get all your tailgating essentials at your local IGA, the official grocer of WKU Athletics. Go Tops. If you hold a Kentucky hunting or fishing license, then you have helped make possible Kentucky's wildlife management areas, places to hunt, fish, bird watch, or just let your mind wander. With nearly 100 dotting the Commonwealth, put wildlife management areas in your sights for fall hunting and see more of what makes Kentucky's outdoors outstanding. Get all the information online at fw.ky.gov. We don't have 20 years to become champions. That's why you gotta give it your all. Make your fellowship proud. Stand out from the others. Make sure you're seen. Perform at your best to look forward to new opportunity. It's time. For us to be national, watch your school, sing your anthem, follow your team, 
College sports are here on Bein Sports. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Coach, now we're back home against FIU. Well, we're definitely looking forward to getting back home and uh, looking forward to having a great crowd and being uh, very excited out there. And FIU, you know, they're a team, team that's uh, improved. You know, I think uh, after the coaching change, uh, Coach Cooper's taken over. They reeled off three straight victories. They're kind of like us. They played a very tough non-conference schedule. They played Maryland. They played Indiana. I think because of that, uh, uh, their team has gotten better, and you can see those guys playing loose. I think they're playing loose, they're playing aggressive. Last week, they pretty uh, much uh, had Middle Tennessee on the ropes, should have beat them, were driving to, to go in for the game-winning score, and, 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 and fortunately threw an interception for a touchdown, but uh, playing with a lot of confidence. Their weapons are healthy, they have a very, very good tight end, good running back, quarterback with experience, uh, but you can see them, uh, they know they have nothing to lose, uh, they're cutting it loose, they're, they're playing fast, they're, they're having fun, and it'll be a challenge. Especially on defense, I know they have a lot of athletes on there too. Well, Coach Cooper has got a defensive background and they're being much more aggressive and they're doing a, a lot more things. Uh, really, when you look at them, they're doing a lot of similar things in, to what we've done on defense the last couple of years. And uh, they're dropping eight guys when teams are throwing it. Uh, they're challenging on the outside with their corners. Uh, but I see them as a vastly improved team uh, who has got a lot of confidence right now. And Coach, especially in the conference game, how important is now? Well, we got to win this football game, and I think our guys understand that. And FIU, uh, two weeks ago, was at the top of the conference, and then they had two tough games. They had to play at La Tech, which we lost to, and they had to play Middle Tennessee, which we won by one, and they unfortunately lost at the very end. So, uh, you know, they've had some good wins. Uh, they're towards the top of the conference, and uh, in order for us to, to stay ahead, we have to win this game. Okay, thanks so much, Coach. See you next week on The Coach's Corner. Coach's Corner is being presented by Life Skills, the presenting sponsor of the 2016 WKU football season, by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics, by Pizza Hut, proud to support WKU Athletics, by UPS, delivered by UPS. More information at ups.com backslash solvers. By Kentucky Legend Hands, one legend folks can rely on. By Taco Bell, now serving breakfast starting at 7. And by Passport Health Plan, proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. <laughs>